Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the offset or freestyle offset planner curve. Okay, it's a mouthful. Sorry. So I am going to select the face of this here because I don't have a whole lot of planner objects in my scene. So I'm just going to do a quick temporary construction plane. You don't have to. I'm just trying to zoom in a little bit better here. Okay, let's roll off that. We don't need construction plane anymore. We're going to do Shift D and copy the curve. And you'll know you have a planner curve when it generates, and it has to be a closed curve for this, and it generates a kind of a blue field on the inside. Then you know it's planner, it's a perfectly planner, flat curve setup. So let's go ahead and escape that. And I want to do, let's go ahead and run the operation. So we do F, actually just do F a couple times and it'll roll right in there. So freestyle offset planner curve. And you can see you can just drag out, you can drag in. So we'll just drag out. We can roll it around and see how it created it. And then confirm it. So I'm going to select this again and show you the slight difference. You're, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's just an offset. Well, you're right, it is. So let's do on the same curve let's do offset and the difference here is it doesn't automatically start doing it it just waits for your input so you can either come down to the field down here or you can grab the gizmo and pull it in or stretch it out we'll just keep on going all the way out and then right click confirm but that's the the differences between the two so that's it in a nutshell your freestyle offset planner curve.